In the metals quadrant, gold falling today down 1%, largest drop we've seen in gold price in about two months, getting below most of its key moving averages, including the 50 day moving average and quite a bit of volume. So we will call this long liquidation based off of that. We won't have a confirmation till we get the next commitment of traders report, but it looks like it's longs getting out of the precious metal as we get more and more good news on the trade front, at least for this phase one deal. And again, it's not lost on me that the uh, tariffs not being placed on German autos. According to Wilbur Ross, it's not a done deal yet. It's not an official announcement. But if it's true that there won't be tariffs on German autos, overall trade will be greased a little bit more than it's been lately. And that's bad for gold bulls. Economic data has been a little bit better. Again, pointing to the trade side of things and the global economy might not actually be slowing. We had the Royal Bank of Australia yesterday leave rates unchanged. We have Christine Lagarde talking about leaving the status quo in terms of yeah of uh, monetary policy for the ECB. And we had better PMI figures out of China, adding to that trade optimism. Uh, they weren't great figures, but they were better than expected, both on the services and the composite. This was the Cation PMI, not the official, but still, we haven't had good news out of that in quite some time. Gold falling off of that as well. And lastly, the inverse relationship between the dollar and gold took hold again today. Dollar two-day rally is testing the 50-day moving average. Not above it yet, but if we get it above there with a settlement, you will see buyers come in and try and push that higher. Again, dollar and gold have an inverse relationship that is responding today.